uh, we had trouble trying to uh, convince the White House, uh, then led by George W. Bush and our leadership in Congress, that amnesty was a loser. Not only a loser for the American people, but for us politically. And uh, we get news this morning that Carter Page, one of the people mentioned in the, breathlessly in these accounts as having some involvement with Russia, he was prepared to come testify to the House Intelligence Committee and the Democrats, the minority party, say suddenly they don't want him to testify. Why aren't our fellow Republicans, uh, why, why don't they have a collective spine to say, hey, wait a minute, we're in charge, and yes, he will testify. Well, the, what you just said about we're in charge, I, I don't know that they know that. <laughs> it, it just does not seem to me that they figured out that, in fact, they won, and they should now be governing. That's how it's supposed to work. You know, you, you remember that great line um, Bill Buckley used when someone asked, when he was running for mayor of New York, and he said, they said, well, what are you going to do if you win? And he said, demand a recount. Well, he was being flippant. But I sometimes think that the, the Republican establishment, after the last election, and after Trump was elected, may have uttered those same words and meant it, only maybe not publicly, because, you know, you, you wonder, what is it, why is it so impossible to figure out a way to honestly start governing and moving an agenda that you would think, you would think most Republicans agree with? You know, maybe it's because the leadership of the party, and I use that term kind of loosely, doesn't agree with that sort of Republican agenda that was articulated by, by Donald Trump, especially that part that dealt with immigration. And so you, you just look at this bizarre situation where, for the you know, we have the House, we have the Senate, we have the presidency. You remember, J.D., what happened when people wonder, when P McConnell says things like, I don't know how to get this through, and Ryan says, I don't have the I, we can't do it. Do you remember a little thing called the Medicare Prescription Drug Act? I mean, if you want to see, oh, unfortunately, yeah. yeah, you want to see how you can get something through that even most Republicans didn't want, but the president and the, and, and the, the leadership in the House and the Senate wanted it, what they kept us, 6.30 in the morning, starting at about 9 o'clock the night before, we had this all-nighter on the House floor because they didn't have 218 votes, but they eventually got them. Now, I won't, go into the, I won't go into the details about how, but it can be done. And when you have the House, the Senate, and the presidency, J.D., you and I know, you and I know there is absolutely no way that you can use that excuse of, we can't get this done. Between parliamentary tricks and also the sausage-making method of passing laws in Washington, you can get it done. They choose not to.